Okay, this video is about the Saginaw Lumber Company out of Williams, Arizona. Um, and they were lumbering up here in the Kabab National Forest uh, by the Grand Canyon uh, in the early 1900s. And they actually put in uh, railroad uh, tracks and, and a locomotive that would help them bring the uh, lumber to Anita um, uh, Railroad Depot stop, which was part of the Santa Fe Railroad. That's only a few miles from here. But they would lay their own tracks very crudely. Just they just cut down trees and lay them down to make a, a, a track for the locomotive to transport the lumber. So they weren't using processed uh, timber or anything, milled t uh, wood or anything. They were just um, just using the pine trees, basically. And that's part of the track right there. This was uh, used in the 1920s. And um, I think 1922 was when they put it in. And believe it or not, that's part, the remnants of the railroad that came through here. Um, they would have taken up all the steel rails for the locomotive and and all that kind of stuff after they finished lumbering here in the Kebab National Forest. And it, the track goes down this way. Um, let's try to show you some close-ups of what's left. Just the old timbers, they're about a hundred years old and like I say, um, it's just uh, pine trees they cut down to put through here. And the track continued up through there. I haven't explored it yet. I just found this yesterday out hiking. It's pretty remote. Um, what's interesting, here's a couple of the timbers where they didn't get the spikes the iron spikes that holds the rails in place are still, a few, I found a few around here, uh, but they were picking up. You can see how crudely they were made. And like I say, this is about a hundred years old and there is some remnants of the truck. Um, so I thought you might be interested that um, the Saginaw uh, Lumber Company was in Williams, which is about 45 miles south of the Grand Canyon. So they would uh, come out here to Lumberjacks, cut the trees, and there's some real big ones there they never got to uh, removing. I guess they were too big about 100 years ago. Um, and they would take them down the tracks here, and then they would finally, uh, using horses and these big uh, carriages that had like 12-foot wheels on them, and then they would drag them over to the depot, the Santa Fe uh, Depot in Anita, Arizona. Uh, it's really not a town, it's just a depot out there. I still haven't got a chance to go over there. Um, and the Santa Fe Railroad Actually, the first railroad that came up here with passengers to the Grand Canyon was in 1901. They finished the tracks. It took them like four years. It was called the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad. And they brought up the first passengers to the Grand Canyon in 1901. And then it went defunct in 1968. And it was out of commission, wasn't running from Williams up to the Grand Canyon, that stretch. Uh, wasn't running uh, for another 21 years and finally some wealthy investors got everything fixed up on the Santa Fe Railroad and in 1989 they started their passenger service again from Williams, Arizona up to uh, up to Santa Fe. So um, there were loggers back in here in the 1870s. The white man, you know, started coming back up in here, uh, especially around the Colorado River. It goes through the Grand Canyon, uh, looking for gold, basically. Um, but the very earliest lumberjacks, so to speak, were the indigenous tribes in this area. Um, here's another section of tracks that are still there. They're all very dilapidated and 
rotten pretty much. It's a little windy today. I hope this the audio comes out on this video. It just goes to show you, you know, what you can find when you get off the beaten path. If you're always hiking on the roads, you're not gonna find anything. I, this whole stretch, it just goes down there. They built up like an earthen mound here. They just cut down the pine trees uh, to lay the tracks. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty far away from my campsite right now and I plan on hiking it down that way and then hiking it down this way to see exactly where the actual original rail tracks from a hundred years ago went. Um, so I thought, you know, you people that are in the railroad history, especially in Arizona, uh, Santa Fe Railroad and all that uh, might be interested in this. Uh, maybe I'll do another episode if I find any interesting uh, spots from this railroad that came through here. They, they were only running this rail track in the 1920s. I think it started around 22. Uh, for a few years they were running it to pull out lumber. Anyway, I uh, hope you like this episode. This is Eagle Eric signing off.